Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2, everybody. Got the confidence boosts that I so desperately needed from our last squad. So much so that it's kind of carried over into today here with Erd, our Ravager Hellion. Although, of course, we were rocking the Berserker path for her last time, making a little adjustment today to include the Duelist again, who I still feel like I'm kind of struggling with. And I have uh, landed on the conclusion that it is a character that is totally capable of being good on her own, absent any sort of, you know, like combo or team complement. And despite that, I still have chosen to try to compliment her with a little bit more literal combo application from a team like the Jester and the Warlock Occultist who are going to be able to do quite a bit of that. Uh, but really, it's, I think, more just a focus on trying to learn how to best utilize those stances and the buffs that she always is just granting herself. So let's do that. You came here seeking solace, but found stagnation instead. Half hustle, other half hustle, getting back to their gifting ways. Thank you guys you very much. A change in the air. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. You, specific viewer. The bulwark of your denial is giving way. I missed you. It's been a whole day, or possibly even two. Thank goodness we didn't have to wait too much longer. We're back. We're ready to go. We're ready to get this duelist going. So what's going to be... I am feeling like encore plays on the duelist are going to be extremely... potentially powerful, given the stance situation, like a preparation into something like the boot, for example, should I get the opportunity to utilize it. What's the condition blocked here? Oh, this requires defensive stance. I see. Okay, so we're probably going to want to find a way to get that uh, a little bit quicker here. We're going to take a look at his or her upgrades as well. Uh, pretty Pretty early on, I think that's going to be the uh, the route we go with our early mastery. Upgraded, you can use it in either stance. Okay, yeah, so that kind of stuff is going to be a big priority for this squad. Not to mention, I'm also realizing I might want to include Finale in this mix. Oh, yeah. That's a good first use. Easily resolved. And having now just realized that I was robbing myself of the opportunity to see shaking? that animation. There is so much worse in store. Sometimes there are higher priorities than optimization of the party, Bear. Sometimes you need to see the boot. And I'm very glad we're about to. Rest tonight under the mountain's unblinking gaze. That is an early bounty hunter, which means we're going to go ahead and keep the same pick me going if you'd like to be selected. P-I-C-K-M-E in the chat. Let's find out where we're taking them. Rain, fire, and rot. Is there no sanctuary from this madness? I don't like this. I should go here. But no hoarder, no hospital. I mean, I guess it'll force me to hoard my gold, which is not necessarily bad. And avoid the hoarders pretty easy. Yeah, all right. The shrouded coast, isolated, and drowning in amphibious degeneracy. Big pig! What a start. What a blessing from the game. Right out of the gate. Pick that up. Grab some food. Yeah, let's think about the pet we're bringing along today. I've been enjoying mixing it up a little bit. Carriage lamps or some road gear, which could tempt me to go with the mucilaginous slime. Increased chance of looting items from road debris. Additional debuff resist per road gear item equipped. Pardon me. Yeah, let's give this a go. Get those lamps early on. I like it well enough. A little change of pace. I'm going to grab this minor hail draft as well. Good early investment. And the whiskey. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Uh, I don't really have that in the cards for today, Yeti, but we might get back to that at some point in the near future. 
Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Let's call for the pick me here if you'd like to be chosen. We got our stage coach, our Mucilaginous Slime here as well. Learn and let's take a look at these and duelist skills. Just a little taller at the end. While we do so. Oh man. That boot upgrade is nice allows us to use it in either stance stuns the combo target in defensive stance applies combo when aggressive that's pretty good and then of course we are going to switch over to the finale for our jester i'm pretty tempted to take off inspiring tune go with encore and then we can take off wicked hack in favor of raucous revelry here not to mention, I don't know why we have If It Bleeds equipped still. We don't need that at all. We can go Iron Swan, in fact. Yeah, this is a much better kit for her right now. Relying on her for our stress healing is incredibly risky, but this is a very strong kit for our soloist. In fact, maybe just do that. I don't know how much harvesting we're going to be doing. I want to upgrade Fade to Black as well. But I think the boot's going to be first. Flubber for the slime. I'll back that petition. That <laughs> yeah, would be fun to do once. Maybe. Fade to black. Very tempting here. Weed reconstruction is a safe play. Like, Rockets Revelry is an even safer one. This is a very good idea right now. I don't know why I'm still fighting it. That's right. I still want to look at... Ooh, Flick gains an execution on upgrade. That is fun. Also ignores dodge and block, depending on the stance. Disengage, of course. Pretty good here as well. Ignores repose too, which is pretty outstanding. Gain the stance, if no stance, from Touche, which we've always loved. Can also consider some of these other options here. Again, clearing the skill cooldowns. Meditation, right? Yeah, fantastic move that we kind of got stuck on, if I'm being honest. I kept doing that over and over. Coup de Gras adds a stun when in defensive stance. Wow. Applies two weakened and two vulnerable when offensive. Holy shit. Hold on a second. We found the good coup de gras. Can I just... Wait. This is... Close this. This is upgraded now. There we go. It's from either stance. The preparation into a coup de gras is a pretty remarkable start. There's no way for us at the moment. No, if disengage into coup de gras as well, adds combo. Sorry, not combo, adds dodge. Allows for a stun. Encore disengage coup de gras is really good. Alternatively, encore prep coup de gras is really good, especially with deadly. Wow. Okay. That's fun. But am I abandoning half of that for a bounty hunter immediately? Let's debate it while I choose these names. He sells seashells. He'll be our stagecoach for the day. Mm, Aqua Tufania. Joins us as our Muse Laginous Slime. Those are good names. I'm gonna go the with my gut here. Waits, brooding beneath his cowl. Ooh, flawed release. On guard, pretty good. Not really able to utilize the utility belt this time around. We're seeing his indelible trinkets pretty uh, commonly here. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna go with a. Uh, Standard frontline build for him, though. I'm going to give him a little bit of extra HP while I'm at it. Get him fed. 
speaking of which save the big pig for later I think we're good the house of salt he'll be our bounty hunter today alright let's do it ready to go hard focus on trying to make this duelist work out early I honestly think this could be a solid Leviathan team too propriety floats listless on the tide brined in noxious degradation especially with one that late and an oasis early too avoid the hoarder by heading to the right here yeah, let's do it. Works for me, dude. All right, here's our first look at things. I'm more than happy to create an ideal target here. I'm not going to be able to get the stealth off that time, so goodbye. One down. Blind on the giant. Pretty damn good. Now, let's see. I think her best skill is still going to be a preparation to begin with. And then I'm thinking we maybe just hit a coup de gras in the back rank immediately. Curious to see how that's going to look. Oh, sure, yeah, the boot as well. It's a pretty damn good starting option. Oh, I didn't equip Coup de Gras. <laughs> damn it. I think I'm going to replace Touche with that. Once I, you know, actually equip it. Um, yeah. I mean, the boot's still pr plenty good for me, dude. That's a fine choice. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and give him a collect bounty, maybe. Now for that. When the combos are already applied, I think it's almost always going to be best to let the Jester encore for somebody a little bit more effective. And of course, measure out your violence any stress and apply it judiciously. is going to be uh, pretty problematic for us here, so we want to try to avoid that. Ooh, baby. Easily dispatched. That's the good stuff. Oh, I think she had an execution. So much for paying careful attention. And oh my god, yeah, that allowed for a little extra stress to boot. All oh, right, we have the inspiring tune, of course. What am I worried about? Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. That's right. We didn't have to sacrifice anything because I'm such a smart boy. Look at that. Apples and cheese immediately paid off from the mucilaginous slime. Good stuff. We should be able to get <clears throat> some mineral spring water here, too. Forgotten. It is ours now. To further allow us to negate the stress effects, so. No worries, dude. Oh, right. Yep. Gotta get the skill, though. Thank you. Silly bear. There it is. We upgrade them to leave them unequipped. That's usually for the best. Ooh, they grah. See how it goes here. The thing is, it's definitely going to be best suited for the, like, size 2 characters. We're going to want to be starting with stuns a lot of the time. Otherwise, which I suppose means we can just do this. But, oh, if I start with her disengage, I'm not going to be able to follow that up with an encore. That's important to note. Okay. All right, then. I like an abyssal here. So, yeah, those are, those are the little particular elements of playing a 
duelists that I think are just going to require some more experience in building the familiarity with the character of where things will work out and where you can utilize her skills and her stances and blah, 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 blah. She's a little more complex than the usual character, which is, you know, it's welcome for sure. Definitely on board with something that's going to make me use my noodle a little extra. As much as I may wish to be opposed to that. I know it's for the best. So we got our defensive stun here. Along with the full knockback on her that time, of course, which I guess may not have been ideal, but... Oh, two of them. The double boot? Oh, that's fun. A simple variable. Easily resolved. Very happy to see the boot does not have a cooldown. That's great news. This is no time to falter. The CE ending isn't a silent S. It's actually pronounced in... Oh, it's coup de grace? Coup de grace? Coup de grassy? Never seen it. Coup de grasse. Grass. Coup de grasse. Coup... Kudos. Delicious. Cube the grass. There we go. I think we got it. I think we landed on it. The slow suffering begins. Go touch Grace, yeah. All right. Little wonky there. Gloom, a spark. Not as clean as I'd have liked. I feel like we're figuring things out. The guttural prayers of the fisher folk must be silenced. Oh, coup de grace Tyson is an easy plus two no notes. There's always a clever way out. Ooh, I'll take that just because you're so, you're so cute. Look at him, look at this sneaky little boy. You don't have to fight him when you tiptoe away. They'll never know. T. Hovering polyhedron. I forget what this does. Trinket. Amidst the spoils. An artifact of unparalleled power. That's a content trinket right there, dude. No doubt. Turn start, add one random token. Turn start, stun. We'll see how that treats us. Okay. The unavoidables. Go ahead and yank him up to the front. What is a good starting skill typically? I think this engage is going to be pretty nice. Especially if this is going to add a dodge to her. Also gives us a pip, which is nice. And allows for an opening finale, which is pretty damn good. All right, all right. I like it. Go ahead and pull forward again. Get a nice opportunity up there. This is starting to feel like more of what I should be doing with this squad. Anytime we can get a combo target in those front two ranks, we're going to be feeling pretty good about it, although obviously this is an issue. And something that ignores repost, right? Yeah, the disengage. Which would be kind of awkward to do right now. This ignores dodge when defensive, which is the case here. But would still be reposted. Eh, I could do a preparation, I guess. Now for somebody else to take the brunt of that. 
Nice. Ooh. The one shot? Let's go. They falter. So press your advance. Opens up the target up front. We'll reapply a combo slash murder her. Yeah, I think actually that's gonna be the better play. Let's the demons pull, bring him back up, and then yeah, we're good to go. That's the double weak and double vulnerable. Holy cow, that is really good. Kind of impressive of the dog to block Greater a meteor. Threats await those who dare. That's a very good boy. I'm thinking we're heading to the left. I'm not sure about this Leviathan still. They prostrated themselves before the primogenial power of the obelisks. Ooh. And were rewarded for their supplication. If we get some decent combat items here, I think that'll change my mind. That's really good. That's about what I was hoping for. Holy shit. You take those, you take these, you take the... Wow, yeah, that is a... Uh, a simple choice. That is really good. At least it should be. That's going to make me want to do it. Certainly the loot will influence things too, but that's the kind of stuff that is a big difference maker in fights. Even the Dazzlers, actually, I didn't realize we'd gotten those earlier, but those could be a difference maker too. Your path lies through them, and so they must fall. My dog poops on the carpet. Can I trade? I mean, mine does too. It's just, I feel like she would also probably jump in front of a meteor for me. Maybe not even for me, maybe just out of like curiosity or, or, or a lack of self-preservation. Sounds about right. Hey PK, so far so good. Having a pretty solid showing. Hey, Leafy, welcome. Thankfully, the block token that time. I'm liking the disengage here. Possibly into a finale one shot. One of these boys. Excellent. Good start. Good start. Nice dodge. Okay. My dog made eye contact while peeing on the carpet the other day, and I lost my mind. We sort of just conceded at this point. Like, Taffy's 15 or something like that. She's like 14 or 15 at, by now. The spoils, an Ooh. artifact of unparalleled power. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What a find right before the Leviathan. The abates. Combat start, aggressive stance is probably going to make me want to consider replacing preparation with something here. Might even flesh. Flesh hay? Right away? Flesh hay away. Be quite good. Lots of damage. Forward three. Probably something we can manage. That also does boost the again skill. That's right. Yeah, that would be more reason to use that, wouldn't it? Which also requires aggressive, of course. Interesting. I don't know how much flicking we're really going to do. Maybe let's give this a go. This could result in a back-to-back -back finale play. It could be interesting. Of course, an upgrade doesn't necessarily remove her aggressive stance either. Right, this, get, or this grants a speed token to the target as well, which would really complement the finale. Also, I think negates a daze. Encore the encore, right? Also a possibility. That's a lot of fun. Hey, nice. Good old carriage lamps, okay. I think our combat items are sorted. 
Take one last look, I guess. Oh, yeah, we're looking pretty good here, dude. I think this team is ready to take on a big fish. Change. An inglorious heap of rotting timbers. Nice combo in the back. Probably gonna wanna try to do some stress healing prior to the uh, end of the second round here. In fact, I might even go ahead and get started now. Make sure we're in decent shape before we get there. Hey, I'll take the taunt from that. Nice. A little stun action. Beautiful. All right, so her starting with the aggressive stance now is obviously going to change things for us quite a bit. Uh, I could still start with this, though. I don't necessarily mind her doing the move forward, and then could even be a kill here. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Yeah, that works for me. A resounding response. That is two down already. My goodness. See if we get lucky with a crit off the pole, or at least have this guy exposed. A little low on the HP, but it should be fine. Honestly surprised this doesn't deal more damage to you. You would think it would. In fact, that's kind of the thing I'm worried about with her right now, besides flesh. She doesn't really have a ton of um, fantastic damage dealing options. Oh, that was going to be right. That applies the combo on the on the target there. Didn't realize what I was doing with that. Um, yeah, freaking. Okay, still, still a learning process here. We're figuring it out. I think I'm going to go ahead and heal her there. This road cannot be walked alone. Move him back. Yeah, I was expecting the sucker punch. Okay, sadly, probably have to deal with this, but might get the one shot. Pretty unlikely. Oh, never mind. We got the fade to black. Don't have to bleed there. Good stuff. Okay. Moving on. I think her opportunity to flash rank three in the beginning of a lot of fights is going to be worthwhile. Especially in situations like this. Even doing something like that would be pretty good. Although... Man, I'm beginning to wonder... You know, actually, this is pretty nice, too. Yeah, that ought to help a lot. Weakened tokens are something I'm beginning to... respect the value of quite a bit more lately, too. Nice blind there. That's looking like a uh, terrific abyssal opportunity for next round. Let's do it. Another weekend coming up here. Might not have to deal with that. Finish this guy. Let's see. Yeah, not going to hit the back rank here either. All right, so... Again, we're adding a dodge from that, at least. Encore for the pull? Let's try it. Unfortunate. Does bring her to the second rank, at least, though. Got a couple of dodges here. Oh! Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that up. Need a... A little help in recovery round time. here. We'll at least take her out. Oh boy, maybe not. Got a blind here too. This could be bad. Um, is this best? No. There we go. Straightforward and effective. Knock him back. Can still heal at least. We get another stress heal here. I really need to get a little HP back. Incremental. Oh boy. But deadly all the same. This is not really allowing for that here. I do at least get the crit heal off of this one, so. Hey, there we go. Okay. 
That's pretty huge. Uh, she can't really do anything extra to a stun target, can she? So, go for it. Debuffs the debuff resistance. And I really want to try to hold out for one extra cultist heal at the end of this one. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Just wanted to point and yell at him. Do a good heal. Oh, why? Crap. All right. Uh, all right. One more try. He does get the speed token. I suppose that was kind of worth it, wasn't it? Yeah, let's at least do this. I think he can still heal after that. Yeah. God damn it. Whatever, good enough. I think. That's good loot. That's really good loot. Oh, yeah, the sodden sweater, particularly with our occultist, of course. Yeah, we gotta go for that. That is outstanding. Here we go. They must be made to see that their monstrous god is mortal. I don't feel incredibly confident about this. I'm gonna do my best, damn it. Let's see. Combo on the aggressive stance. Let's make us defensive. This will allow for the finale start. Which is pretty good. Avoided the blind. And spring water. Gotta save that maybe for a heal, though, to keep us... Off death store potentially. That was five damage there. It was kind of rough. I say we keep the combo. Oh, he is stun immune. Shit. Okay. He's going to be a lot less useful. Could chance the recycle, but that seems kind of risky. What if I did this instead? I don't know. It's worth it worth it for the vulnerable as debuff resist is pretty low and then we can strengthen this hit let's get it for 75 76 i mean actually is what i meant to say was the number 76 that was pretty good well then I want to hit him for 45, maybe? Because I recognize I should probably do this. But it would be pretty funny. Okay. Got the combo, though. It might have still been worth it. Oh, we can literally do that again. I need to be aggressive. Okay, that's right. Huh. Cannot stun you. That's a decent amount of damage there. It doesn't seem like a bad idea. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. That, of course, makes his mark for death a little bit more likely to land. Got a strength token off of our true entropy there. That's pretty helpful. Hmm. Hey, Gungeon, thank you for the bits. Looking forward to the two years, thank you. I'm definitely feeling like I should do this, but it's been pretty fun to just deal a truckload of damage to the Leviathan this early on. But I feel like I'm really going to regret it if I don't do this here, so... There we go. Agony. By accumulation. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's bad. That was already a trigger for Death's Door as well. She nearly died from that. Holy shit. You can heal from there, right? Yeah. 
He might be Encore heal time. He's got the spring water as well, so... At the very least, get her off a of death's door from this. Solidarity may yet arrest this collapse. Good heal. Nice. Okay. Heal yourself, I suppose. Hey! hey. Good work, bud. All right. Now, I might as well just go ahead and, I suppose, allow Finale to recharge on its own. Meaning... Perhaps we try to get our boy back. That'll work. Also puts the occultist back in the back rank, allowing for a potential burning stars coming up here. Finale's going to be off cooldown pretty soon as well. We could stimulate this guy, give him a nice little... We can rely only upon each other. Collect bounty hit coming up too. Oh my god, True Entropy gave us a crit token. That's insane. A master stroke. Okay. I win? I win. I, I won I won the fight. I'm gonna boot him to death. <laughs> Land the killing blow on a lair boss with the boot from the duelist. There's a goddamn achievement for it. Let's fucking go. I love that. Oh man, what a moment. Hell yeah. Great loot. Glorious start for this squad. Okay. Let's throw that on you. You can have that one as well. Sodden Sweater's going to the duelist. You can grab that extra HP. Cool, man. That's pretty great. Let's not die now. Just a quick little coldest encounter after that. No big deal. Another Loathing Resistance. Still at zero. Those lanterns have been an excellent investment. Here we go. A little low on HP. Hi, Taffy girl. Taffy, come here. Taffy, come here. What are you doing? You like the camera. Where are you going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet girl. Anomaly kittens. Well, what's going on? If you're going somewhere, I'm coming. <laughs> and back to Tommy. <laughs> it's so jarring. I love it. Oh, man. Hold on. There it is. Literal jump scare, yeah. Alrighty. You know what? I'm gonna do this. This doesn't shuffle, right? Yeah, there we go. Get him with the blind. Nice. I don't really do much, but whatever. Made me happy. Hmm. Blind here, too? Sure. A breakthrough. Can we have him appear at a random interval? I was telling people in the beginning, I absolutely want to make it so that I can uh, have the channel point reward I Love Tommy activate this camera for like three seconds, which I recognize what's going to happen as soon as I do that is like, that's just going to be the stream now. But I, I don't know. I feel like I should welcome that for at least a day. Well done. Hot damn. I really like that. That is an incredibly effective move. Sadly, the blind didn't work out that time around, but we do get a dead altar most likely here. We could also try this. Well, that's pretty good. Nice. Does this mean that Taffy, the f to or Toffee, the fusion of Taffy and Tommy is the ultimate Nirvana? I have I hadn't landed on that personally, but now that you put it that way, 
That must be the case. Eh, try it. Oh, what am I doing that's gonna make her... Damn it. Hey, that's good, though. Missed crit, very nice. Let's encore... No. I guess we just Razor's Wit, don't we? I don't know, I feel like I'm... Wasting potential here again with these guys. Here's the value of the weakened token, man. Jeez. A brilliant conclusion. That's the stuff. Now we come through with a little extra kaboom. All the way to the front. Bounty hunter back to the back. No more guard for them. Fully comboed. Duelist, however. Ooh, the sodden sweater, dude. Very happy with that item already. One on death's door. This went, like, really well. Uh, I, feel, I think I can heal here. Relief comes rarely in these times. Favorite. Probably for the best. Eh, give him the boot. Give him the boot. It just feels too good. Straightforward. And effective. It's probably not even the best play there, but it's the best in my heart. When will be when will we be expecting Tommy merch? I suppose that is the next logical step, isn't it? Just put this on a shirt. Fully unedited. Just like a white t-shirt with this rectangle, like very small, dead center. Clutch. Get out of here. <laughs> Not a Tommy mask. There we go. Yeah. Get you sorted for next Halloween. The enemy's face after receiving the boot. Very true. Extremely true. A righteous action. All right, man. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. Misstep, more like mistake, giving it to me or even including it in the game because it sucks. Why well, deal damage when you can just never die? What a deal. Why not cycle there to get a free stress heal and a normal heal? Eh. We're fine. The fire is lit. The table is set. Holy cow. The inn awaits its favorite guests. <laughs> okay, cool. That's pretty nice. Duelist Slugger. Good stuff. Ooh, in the old guild hall. It'll give us a little stress heal, too. The provinces and camp tribes oh, of our land. Oh, boy. Crumbling and undone. Man, normally I would insta-pit the sluice here, obviously, but that is plus three mastery points for no stagecoach items. I feel like we're Modern just going to do that anyway. I guess carriage lamps, but and death. that's fine, dude. This land is truly barren. Does the trophy count as a stagecoach item? Does anybody know? I feel like I've asked this before. I don't think it does. I think it's specifically the stagecoach items are these four. And then the trophy is its own separate thing. A smoother ride. For a time at least. Alright, cool. That's totally doable. I think we have a decent amount of food as well. Wolf's blood's not bad. We have food, right? Yeah. Certainly enough for the sluice. Got any road gear here? We do. Iron banded wheels. This would be nice for our pet. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. I don't know if I want to buy that for bobbles, though, especially if I can't have it equipped for this entire region. Although I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? 
Hmm. Do we need wild tea? Kind of? Oh, that would be a gamble. To get rid of blundering, I don't know. Although blundering has already triggered death's door once, so maybe it is actually worth getting rid of now. I think we just gotta hope that we come across a hospital. It is a maze after all. I feel like it's pretty likely. I don't want to risk that. Grab some bread. I just some slime mold too, a bit of and then comfort on the road to damnation. Get the songbook here. A little bit more whiskey. It might already be big pig time. I'm gonna check in on the relationships for these guys. Yeah, slugger plus deadly is ridiculous. So that's mostly why I don't even want to gamble on that. I don't think it's big pig time yet. Hold on to that for now. Oh! Oh no! Sorry! Oops! Crap! It tastes like dysentery! Yeah, it sure do! At least she's robust now, huh? Ah, god damn it. Here, have the content trinket just for fun while you're at it. I don't need those guys anymore. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's give her this now. No, I guess I want her to get a new uh, disease, don't I? So she can replace the dysentery. Um... Let's see. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, we just save this other stuff for now. Pretty likely to be able to get a positive relationship going for the next end, though. Lots of mastery. Learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. Which is pretty great. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade Finale. I've been using this a lot. Burning stars as well. Um, let's see. Toe to toe would be a good idea. Iron Swan's not a bad idea either. Let's check it in on the uh, duelist skills again, though. Double blind on defensive stance on a combo target. That's outstanding. I love that. Again, upgrade could be worth it too. Shelby! Welcome back. Thank you very much for the 21 months, Shelby. Welcome back. Give him some bear hugs, please. Appreciate you. You call this a spare 30 gold, Troy? This is... We're clinging on to every last coin, man. Ain't no spare dollars to speak of in DD2, dude. I don't think again's worth it just yet. We'll probably do that a little later. Inspiring Tune is a safe play. Encore's decent too, actually. Oh, weird. I don't know how I haven't done that yet. Yeah, that's... That's gotta be it. Okay. I think we're ready. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this now. I was... For some reason, thinking I was going into the sluice here. I think I'd like to try to invest in... A positive relationship this early on. So let's go for Duelist Jester. See if we can get that going. Ah, shit. Maybe this. Okay. Three more. Would get us to... Very friendly. She does look a bit bored, doesn't she? Let's see if we can give her some excitement. I think that's good for now. Pretty unlikely to be a negative here, so... I think we'll keep the rest. Why save the pig? I think it'll be more effective for us at the end of this next region. We'll be able to get the stress healing from it too. That's primarily why. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Mm. Speaking of stress healing, nice. Razor's wit and disengage. Stress heal for the jester and duelist. Resignation. 
I'm gonna start getting strangers deathly intoxicated to try and make friends. It always seems to work for Bear. I mean, you ever been to a party? That's pretty much the gist. I'm not gonna talk to all these strangers sober. Freak that, dude. Hospital time. Right down the middle. Hey, Cactus, how you doing? Back to the starting squad. It looks like they're giving us a warm-up round here. True entropy immediately negates our... strength token, unfortunately. Let's see how this goes. Did I upgrade Inspiring too? I did not. Okay, so... Just have to deal with that horror, I guess. Let's see. Disengage is a stress heal as well. I gotta remember that. An aggressive stance applies the combo to the ghoul for a finale. Let's do it. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is a fun way to begin combat. I'm a fan. There's been no confirmed plans for uh, for the regions to be added, dog, but I would be shocked if there wasn't a new one added eventually. But that's the kind of thing that I imagine takes longer than we even uh, realize. Like, there is a, certainly a ton of work that goes into creating an entire brand new region for this game. All right. Messy, but effective. Yeah, we got the shroud, obviously, uh, in one of the first updates in early access, which I think might have kind of skewed people's perspective on that. Made them, you know, expect uh, those sorts of things in increased frequency. Again, though, I, I do expect that at some point it will probably be. Perhaps I left this for you. A new addition. Perhaps you left it for yourself. Perhaps it is not here at all. Second big pig. Oh, yeah. Playing cards a stone mount, too, which is sometimes decent, depending on the build, although often ends up being kind of useless. We're not really generating any block with this squad, are we? Unless we get some from, like, true entropy, but... Yeah, maybe Nautical Compass will get one, but even that's not really worth it. Yeah, just kind of not great otherwise. I'll just leave that behind, I think. Want some disease resist, bud? There you go. Right down the gut, right? Yep. Nice! Safe route assistance encounter. Taking it easy early on for us here. Just fine with me. We got a bunch of mastery points in the beginning of this run, so I don't think we're really going to need a lot more help. Already got our trophy, too. Feeling real good. Hmm. That's probably best. Boost their relationship further, too. Hey, there we go. Hopefully not getting any dysentery from that. When deliberation is exhausted, well, you never know. Trust your instincts. You're getting four mastery minimum for even completing this region. Very true, huh? Because all we got to do is get through. Obviously don't have anything equipped, so yeah. We're going to be sorted, dude. Not to mention we're avoiding loathing pretty well. I know we're going to hit that one, but be too much of an issue either they want to bail huh a retreat ballad why not i guess Let's see if we can just get through the whole region without fighting anybody the loathing whispers off to the hospital do we have relics yeah we got enough we're good we got a little stress healing out of this too so that's nice smoke bombs out of the pile very good 
Oh, that's bad, though. Oh, we just got glimmers, though. We can suffer no sickness on this pilgrimage. Get rid of we blundering. Not be defined by our shortcomings. And terrified. Cool. Okay. That's pretty good. We'll have that later. The odds of illness are high. Best to be prepared. Alright, probably ambush time. I'd be shocked if we got out of this without one. Oh, we should equip the glimmers though, obviously. Six of them, holy shit. There's All laudanum on there too. The flickering torch you bear. More smoke bombs, why not? Actually, I think I can do like this. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Oh, that'll work out pretty well. The loathing festers. So long as it's not an exemplar. So long as it doesn't ambush me with an exemplar. Boy, would I hate to see an exemplar. Wine, please. Generous and thin blood. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. The rare combo. Okay, we can get rid of this, get rid of that. Moving on. Oh, especially in chapter five, you can get an exemplar ambush. Up ahead, the seat of our regrettable research. Or maybe you just never actually need torchlight. Maybe torchlight doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, okay. God damn it. Manifest. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't serious. I thought we were all in on the joke. Oh, God. Well. I already got the blinds, so this is a pretty good coup de grace situation, isn't it? Oh, resisted all the debuffs. Jeez, that sucks. I bet I can kill this guy. That did help quite a bit last time. Hey, nice. A little glimmer? Get us back to full torchlight by the end. All right, let's see here. We're going to need to toe to toe, get the taunt up. Huge blind misses, especially on that crit strike. Wow, that was really lucky. I'm going to get some burning stars going. That is totally fine. Minus the blight, that's pretty rough. Missed that too, that's a shame. Okay. A nice stress heal off of that one. Good stuff. Another glimmer. We gotta keep fading to black, actually. Keep trying to blind him, the combo does help a lot too. There is comfort in company. Toe to toe to taunt. Winded uh, cleared, got the immobilize. He is missing everything. That has been great so far. That's not too bad. But it resisted too nice. Ah, shucks. He can be stunned, right? Yeah, it's just kind of unlikely. Combo and defensive stance does double blind. We can still burning stars from rank two. Stupendous. Man, he just keeps resisting everything though, shit. Hmm. Yeah, Iron Swan for the combo. Oh, right, we don't have that upgraded shit. Another Glimmer. You are in bad shape, buddy. We are going to get a combo already, so what if we were to Encore? And then maybe... Hmm. What do we do here? I want to try to apply a combo real quickly. We can do that with burning stars, and then we could disengage after that for a blind. That's not the right order here. Hmm. I guess this is still best. Oh, got a crit too. Nice. 
I really should heal the Jester. I only have one taunt. Okay. Oh, nice. Got the dodge from Slippery, too. Oh, wow. He has landed so few hits so far. That's been super lucky for us. Let's see. Coup de Gras, stun chance. Worth it, I think. Steady yourself. All right. Clearly need to taunt again. Hmm. Still got one more blight there. That's rough. Let's see. I think I still try to blind here. I really want to go for a finale, but I haven't quite been able to set it up yet. Nice pip out of that. Okay. She's close to needing to take care of herself. Great burning stars damage so far. Oh yeah, that's gonna need some help for sure. Ah, the blind again. Right? Or did I have the wrong stance there? I might have the wrong stance on that one. That definitely seems like an adrenaline rush situation. We have yet another crit here. He's finally through his blight. Oh, she didn't have a stance. That's why. Okay. Let's try the blind again. That's good. Nautical Compass has been very helpful for the Jester here, too. Okay, she has defensive combo blinds. Crap, dude. Oh, brought him to the front, too. And they got the Blight there. Jeez. Okay, well, that's still best. Not everything on that one. Okay. We're taunting again. We're going to go ahead and lot them there, I think. Yeah, that works out. Sanity returns. And then I think he can Demon's Pull, right? Yeah. All right, cool. That wasn't too bad. Get no reward for it, but pleasant in the extreme. We did it. This work is noble and necessary. Full torchlight, hooray! More laudanum there, and get a couple of burn cells just in case. I actually might need the invigorating intoxicant here. Might be a better option. Like nothing even happened. Oh, we got an oasis coming up too. Nice. We can probably handle this a little bit of loathing as well. Of research and inquiry. A monument to a once prestigious career. Perhaps we can make use of the canvas with the jinx? Oh yeah, you better believe we can. Oh, we gotta lock that in. Wow, that did unfortunately get rid of her. She had something else going on that was a little better. I don't remember, but that is obviously wonderful to see, especially with the uh, Hellion who we're going to be using the taunt on pretty often. Oh, lethal faint. Dang, yeah, that's pretty rough. Alright, let's see. Still does 16 damage. That's pretty ridiculous. Might actually be worth it. Although I do want to be taunting for the jinx, don't I? Well done. I think she's got enough HP for now. She'll be okay. Oh, we can also do that. This wound at least has been tended and to. And still heal her somehow. There's a combo there. That's pretty nice. Hmm. Give him the boot. No, it just applies the combo. That's right. A renewal. Welcome back. Hmm. Give him a combo here. The friendly shambler. Thank you very much for the 64 months on the pile. Welcome on back in. Appreciate your support. Oh man, I'm still feeling like I'm not utilizing her as effectively as I'd like to. I 
I guess I'll go ahead and just apply a combo here. It's still a pretty helpful move. It does allow for the uh, Jester finale, ideally. This is obviously problematic, but I might be able to... Well, I can blind this one, I guess, but I'd much rather do this, obviously. She might be dead. This is terrible. Darkness encroaches. I don't know why I thought this would be okay. I should have blinded. That was incredibly lucky. I think she might still die to the focus fire. This sucks. I should have been punished there, man. That was bad. That was not well executed at all. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, no, no, no knockback or stun, huh? Good heal, at least from the occultist. We're not quite out of the woods here. God, I forget these guys can actually deal, like, immense damage. It's really bad. Might have been a revelry situation, too. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. They... They hit really hard, man. Oh, my God. Thank goodness we have this thing. She's going to be back up to 80 now. Oh, man. I think I need to go ahead and encore her as well. Get her the raucous, too. What a mess. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. And I still think we toe-to-toe -to -toe here. I can't believe she's alive. Oh, my lord. They are just being absolutely ruthless right now. Okay, okay. You just kill this guy, right? Gotta be. I don't want to move back, though, so I guess we'll just give him the boot. Messy. But effective. Jinx blind is pretty good. Only for 13. It's outrageous, man. I gotta do this. Hey, there's a crit heal at least. Okay. You know what? I have the other one. I don't know when the hell I'm gonna be using it otherwise. Might as well take advantage here. Gain stress from that for some reason? Uh, let's see here. Defensive again. We can give him the boot. They can't be moved. That's right. Oh, the nautical compass gave the stress too there. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, we could do raucous again. That's kind of weird. Not super worth it though. Big heal off that, okay. Relief comes rarely in these times. And it's her up. We're not gonna be able to pull this guy, so we just heal again. Hey, wow, there we go. That's good. Two down. The work continues. Now a matter of desperately attempting to stop this guy from exploding on us. Meaning we target him with just about everything. That's a convenient dodge. We could clear the corpses here, but we could also do this to target him. We'll also work on clearing the corpses a little bit. Revelry is fine here, I guess. I should probably just toe-to-toe, -to -toe, though. better shape now. We can also finale! I just realized. And we very well may still need that revelry. That is a very good way to get him low. Hey, mate. The mind's grasp grows tenuous. can't believe that can deal two stress damage. Oh, it's outrageous. 
this is going to be unnecessary here, I think. Jester should be able to get that kill, or even her. There we go. A little stress healed there, too. Speaking of which, let's go for this. Oh, man. Okay. Fight through the fatigue. That was horrifying. I did not like that at all. Uh, stun time? Can't reach the front rank with a stun dang. A breakthrough. We can do that and stress you a little bit. I did not like that one bit. One less obstacle in our path. Holy cow. Okay. Thanking our lucky friggin' stars we didn't lose Erd on that one. I'm not allowed to complain about Death's Door resistance for the next... Let's call it like five regions. Then I get my rights back, but... A refreshing commune I think they've done well by us. The mind. All right, get these spring waters in there. Ba boom, ba boom. Yep. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Siphoning luck from future runs. Yeah, that's kind of the destination. How it feels here. Question. Only the route you take to get there. I could probably handle a creature den here. Let's do it. We venture blindly forth at the mercy of the road. Got another but safe route too. Dangerous. We still have smallpox, right? So, or not smallpox, dysentery. Oh no, we got rid of that. That's right. But usually worth it anyway. Offering his bread. What a saint. I'm so used to having slime mold. Sharpen your blades. That we may properly excise our portion. Want to start here too, huh? A little bit of relationship boost, which she desperately needs. We got food to spare. Hell yeah, dude. Stealth Jester. Steady yourself. Went from I'm lucky to be alive to we can probably handle a creature den. I, yeah, you know me. That was insanely lucky. Wow. Through the blind and the dodges on that. Pretty great. We're gonna keep our stress low. And definitely just kill that Early thing immediately. Are encouraging. I like that a lot. Oh, we do have anti-venom here too, which is really nice. I'm gonna save that for a little later though. I mean we can still stress heal with this. Wow. Resounding response. And murder. Murder is also an option with that move. Let's encore an abyssal. If he can do it once, certainly he can do it again. Sure can. Cool. All right, good job, buddy. You did it. Round two. I got four of them. Let's do it. And let's see here. Coup de Gras. Stun chance? Let's get through the dodges first, I suppose. We can also set up another... Oh, no. This is going to be double blind on a combo target. So instead, let's do... Eh, let's give this a try. See if this stuns a spider. Nice. Yeti, I'm going to give you the friendliest of timeouts here. As I have already answered that request. In the negative. But I respect the politeness with which you have repeated it. Just please don't do it again. You need it too? It's probably for the best. We got three of them. They're basically infinite. Savor it. Uh, clear dodge. All right, all right. Jinx, I keep forgetting that's a thing here. Oh, man, that is nice. 
And that certainly explains why I was so keen to keep her being targeted. Uh, combo or possibly kill? There we go. Joe Double! Thank you for the resubscription. Welcome back into the bear pile. Appreciate it. And thank you for the bear hugs for him, too. Alright, there's the last of that. Corpse clear. You don't get no snack. Very nice. Uh, move fully to the front with the duelist here? I guess that's our only choice. That's a good sound, too, man. Oh, my God. The sound design... Continually on point. Incremental, but deadly all the same. That looks like a fine adrenaline rush opportunity. And then let's go for razors on the U and just kill it. Just let the jester murder everything on his own. I've been enjoying that so far. And then how about the double blind? No, again, that was aggressive for the combo application. Crap. I'm, I'm close, man. I'm getting there. I'm very slowly figuring it out and utilizing her effectively. Just taking longer than I'd like. This is still a finale play, though. This is the strength of finale on this spider. Easy money, dude. And then we're going to go ahead and heal up from our adrenaline rush, ideally. Get the taunts back up, get the jinx going, deal with these crits. Yeah, no worries, Cactus. Uh, I am a big fan of it. I have loved the reintroduction of the Crusader. The new character, the Duelist here, I have been struggling with a little bit, but I am appreciating the challenge of learning someone new and a little bit more complex than the typical DD2 character. I love the Warlord. I think that's been a fun fight, albeit maybe a little bit too easy. Which is always something I'm very hesitant to say, but I do think the Warlord's a little easy. I don't know if anybody feels we similarly. Until the next test is put before you. And uh, the barricade fights, the road battles, I can take or leave. They're nice for variety at least, but I'm not really like, I don't really have a strong opinion on those. Overall, very good, though. The lost souls of a dying world. Elite Zombos! Of hope and humanity. Oh, God. <laughs> the Warlord's the dude with the ear necklace. This is correct. Welcome relief from caustic agony. What the heck do I even need to do? in the beginning. I guess the boot still pretty damn nice to apply some combos in it. You just boot everything? Give it all the boot. Agony by accumulation. They're getting all the blind, that's for damn sure. Nice work with the jinx here. Hmm. I mean speaking of blind. Oh, the crit there, too. Wow. Boot him back. Woo! Hot damn, dude. Sure. I'll take that. Probably going to need to upgrade Adrenaline Rush soon so we can get rid of some of this Blight and Burn as well. I don't have a fantastic answer to that. Thank you for the disease resist as well. These guys are hitting pretty hard, man. Did everything's damage get buffed? Under my nose? I just read and ignored it in the patch notes? A little help impeccably timed. I swear everything's hitting so much harder now, dude. I guess they are ordained, yeah, but still. Scary. Oh, the minus two pips from that, really? Come on, man. Just trying to help. That'll do. 
Who's the Derek of Red Hook we need to yell at? Probably Chris. Which I'm sure he would welcome. Rockus. Baby. This team's doing pretty damn good. The one pleasant in the extreme. Ooh. This work is noble. Fun. And necessary. I must have asked this question at least a thousand times by now, but does combo count for debuffs? As far as things like debuff piercing are concerned? Like, would equipping this on him make it more likely for the Abyssal Artillery to apply the debuff? Or to apply the combo, I mean? I don't think it is, is it? Yeah, I think they're... I think they operate in different capacities. All right. Not a lot of combat items to speak of here. We do have some spring water, at least. So that'll be nice. Not even ordained. Good stuff. Combo is not color-coded as a debuff. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. What the heck do I do, man? This feels like a pretty good way to begin. Double weak and double vulnerable up front, and then... I could even razors with that. I could also do this. And that is a phenomenal target for you. Goodbye. I don't think he got his altar buff off. Nice. And the dodge there, too. Okay, that's going to be pretty helpful. Let's go. What do you think, Tef? Your mama leave and I am confused. And I'm running away. And Tommy. Blinded or Razor's Wit? Salve there, first of all. And then, yeah, I think this is the play. Try to get a nice big finale hit there. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Either way. Either way, I'll take it. And then we can blind. Oh, we don't have a stance here, though. Bravo. That's oh, still pretty good. That's going to be the move back for him. So this is still a prime target. Hit it. Pretty great, dude. And the finisher. Well, the back to back finishers. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. All right, man, that was damn near perfect. Team's kind of popping off right now, dude. Boot him in the face. Bye bye. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Stress healed at the end too. Easy peasy, man. Lock jaw, no thanks. I'll just take these. That'll work. The loathing abates. Clean region. We're gonna be getting six more mastery points. Candlelit windows promise refuge. I am very optimistic here. See how the end treats us. We would come here in summers of years gone to write, think, and rest. Oh, right, yeah, we have the mastery point from the creature den, too. And the trinket discount, which could actually be significant here. Let's see where we're going first. Hey, Hyper. Consider your position and plan accordingly. Oh, my God. That is... That is pretty hardcore, dude. 
kind of want to go for the double studies and caches here instead. The tainted crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. Not to mention we have bonus damage in the feeder, so yeah, it feels better. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. Ooh, yeah. Pick up a sharpness charm right away. Don't have any more road gear here, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm definitely going to get this whiskey barrel. We've got enough normal food here as well, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these guys. Probably the bread. Really, I can't explain why I wouldn't at least give them the apples and cheese here. It's obviously, well, I mean, I guess we might have a sluice still by the end of it. There we go. There's my justification. I found it. Braggart Jester. That's not great. That's not really what we wanted. Sunny Disposition is nice, though. That was a great result there. Wow. Okay. Let's see how things are going here. Let's work on Occultist Hellion. Unfortunate. Okay. Let's try that again. Gotta remember I've got the big pig here, too. I think I might as well go ahead and do that now. Wonderful. Okay. Let's top these two off. The max affinity there. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit more wine to these two. Very friendly. Can get a whiskey flask for Jester Occultist, right? No, they're maxed for Occultist Duelist. There we go. Two more for Hellion Duelist. All right. Got another Wild Tea. I don't want to gamble on that still, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Let's see. Poetry here as well. I think it's probably worth it to go for the Duelist Hellion relationship here. Kind of hoping for a plus two. Bijou! Thank you for the conversion. Welcome on in. Thank you for the bear hugs farm as well. Wild tea for the Jester? I don't want to get rid of Vicious. Kind of okay with him keeping these. Obviously, that disease situation is pretty rough, though. All right. We'll keep right there, I think. Seems best. Save the poetry for later. Let's do Listen. some more mastery. Practice. Improve. Been doing a lot of those. Iron Swan for the combo is also pretty nice. Um, let's see here. I'm thinking I might want to try different skills. Let's see here. Skills ignore blind for three turns when aggressive. Meditation does get quite good. But we'll force the defensive stance. Faint? Adds three repost. I don't know how much she's going to be reposting, though. I don't know, man. Nothing else. Well, Flick maybe is pretty good, actually. Yeah, we could go with Flick. Let's do Flick in, pl in place of... I kind of want to do it in place of again. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm not going to use again very effectively, nor have I ever. I want to do this. I want to try to utilize that execution and get her a little bit more damage. Razor's Wit is strong here. Abyssal and Demon's Pole are also worth considering. Let's do all three. Cool. Off to the feeder, I think. One last check on the Provisioner. I think we got a new trinket to equip as well. There we go. 
Okay. I like where things are headed here, dude. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. That is all looking good. Speaking of which, aspiration unites the hopeful. Wow, we howling end and fade to black will add strength. That alone is outstanding. Encore and the boot for the stress heal. The boot should be a stress heal by default. And tested. A bond to be counted on. This is outstanding. Oh my god. Dodge plus from weird reconstruction and adrenaline rush. Strength from abyssal artillery. Dodge plus from razor's wit. Unreal. This is terrific. Certainly our best duelist run yet. The rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. I would not mind seeing a shambler early on here. What do you got? You don't say. You don't freaking say. Although, hmm. Cash followed by the lair, followed by the hoarder. And the vintage collection. Ooh. Alternatively, we could go through here to there and also still get that. And a cash. And a bunch of mystery nodes after that, which is always fun. Let's go to the Shambler. Our once familiar kingdom. A stranger to itself. I did ask specifically for it after all. It would feel kind of silly to pass it up. Oh, there you are, Shambler. Hey. All right. Let's see. Have you ever turned down a Shambler? I'm sure it's happened, yeah. I'm sure there's been times. 13 to 17. A promising development. Well, all right then. All of a sudden, that's looking a little bit better, isn't it? Strengthened finale opportunity here. Oh, with the pull forward and the stun as well. Man. Upgraded damage there. A little fade to black, possibly. We'll just spread it all around, baby. Beautiful. Open for the Warlord Shambler dual fight. There we go. That sounds like fun. Cholera. Minus 50% healing received from skills. Days on round start is terrible. Oh, no. I don't like that very much. A simple variable. Easily resolved. Oh, it is indeed, Ponya, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Time for the Gamba. There we go. One less obstacle in our path. I think I counted uh, three that time, Wayne, but I'll sweat it. Round start. Yeah, that is a particularly nasty disease. That is going to complicate things. Especially right before the Shambler fight, dude. That sucks. Oh, well. A chip of it would make a fine pommel. She grabbed Cosmic Slayer right before this. And Doomsayer. And it's an elite one. Beyond the realms of reason. That's not good. Alright, but she does have execution too. And an incredibly good set of quirks now for our duelist. Here we go. That's a gamble. Let's not do that. Just take out the first one, I guess. 
He's already blinded. Uh, the coup de grace to possibly get the weak and invulnerable. Off the crit, certainly gonna do the job. Okay, that's really good. I think we just go for the dodge clear there. Get a pip out of it somehow, cool. Jinx combo. Burning stars time. 42 damage, and it applies the combo, wow. Should try and boot the Shambler to death, that's a solid choice. It's a good idea. Unfortunate, probably worth a shot there though. I think I gotta keep trying to uh, blind the Shambler here if I can. Well done. Nice damage there too. Goddamn cholera days, dude. I hate it. Jinx weakens good, though. I do have adrenaline tonic here as well. Thankfully. Oh, okay. Well done, Hellion. Nice dodge there. It's a block plus, though. Yikes. Good adrenaline rush opportunity. Adds a dodge plus to our occultist as well. Sadly, our burn salve isn't going to do much. Howling does not ignore block, even though I keep wanting it to. Let's try to do the uh, disengage blind again here. That'll work. Now I guess we're hitting him with this, although this doesn't really seem like the best idea. Are we okay? We're good? Saved? Everything's okay? No reason to panic? Yeah? Maybe. Come on. Come on. You can keep working. You don't have to randomly stop the stream in the middle, right? Yeah. Good. Okay, cool. Cool. Sorry about that. A little bit of panic. All right. I'm gonna fix our boy up real fast here and then it does seem kind of worth it to go for this burning stars there. Unfortunate. Let's see. Probably time to just try to deal as much damage as possible and that's certainly gonna help. My goodness, dodges galore from that too. Coup de Gras on the aggressive stance for the weak and invulnerable again. That's probably not a bad idea. This would also potentially get him down to death's door. But I do think this is best. Hmm. Huge. Their buffs are getting pretty. Pretty nasty here. Oh, buddy, don't. Yay, thank goodness. Ooh, it was scary. I think that's probably going to have to be a pass heal, especially with an AoE hit coming, so. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty good, though. You've got to help out our, our buddy here. That's going to be a meltdown, though, so we will do that. That does add a dodge plus to him as well, thankfully. I think we're going to go ahead and hit him with that one. And that will be an armor break, potentially allowing for the flick kill, or with her having Cosmic Slayer now. She don't even need it. She just needs to be able to find a way to hit him, and that'll do it. Shambler down. Dambler shout. Let's go! Oh yeah! Oh no! Okay, he still needs stress healing. He still needs normal healing everywhere here too. There we go. Oh, dodge plus at that, good stuff. Let's just blind here, that might be best actually. Uh, Cosmic Slayer feels like it's a good argument to replace Flick again in the endgame, at least. Yeah, it's not a bad point, although it's not necessarily guaranteed that we're going to hang on to it either. 
Oh, hell yeah, dude. One less obstacle in our path. Boot the damn clapper claw into oblivion. One more heal for the road. That'll do it. It's feeling good. And a raucous possibly here? Absolutely. Stress heals for everybody, dude. Keep on booting. Stunned, blinded. Find all the stress healing we can at the end of this one. Nahi, I can't remember who that is, but we'll try this, I suppose. That was somebody who was at zero already, apparently, but hey, we got the nautical compass stress heal as well. Goodbye! That was a pretty terrific outcome, dude. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Hierarchy of sights is a fun trinket, but typically not something I try to use, but I'll give it a shot here. Just as a goof. Alright. Oh, we can go to the lair. That's interesting. Maybe. It would probably be worth it here. Y'all fucking hear that? That was loud. That is the loudest plane we've had in our area in a while. My god. Early results. Oh hey Phil. Encouraging. How you doing, bud? Sorry, I gotta blind you, I think. It's Black Phillip and Dinner Carl. The one-two combo. Oh, baby. Vulnerable, too. Oh, man. Clean as a whistle. Keep giving him the boots. Stunned Philip. Let's go. And how about a strength token? For the Hellion. Get another. A little lead there. Thank you, Sodden Sweater. Stress heal. Man, that feels good. That doesn't feel as good. That feels worse. Crit time. I'm going to be able to disengage this, I think. Oh, she's got the aggressive. That's right. Uh, so let's do that instead. That is an immense amount of value from that skill. I really like that, dude. Loving the coup de gras here. Steady yourself. Hey, slip. Things going pretty damn good here, I'd say. This has been a solid showing, and my god, the jester's damage has been out of control lately. Oh, I totally could have done a flick there. I didn't even think about it. Whoopsie. One more stress heal? No, we're good. Totally fine. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. Doubters are starving. I'm even going bonus layer here, man. I'm trying to look out for y'all immediately after this Shambler fight. It's just this team's popping off. I ain't gonna hold them back. We should have more than enough relics for a hoarder coming up here, too. And the thunderclap grenades. Let's go. That's pretty great. I could rather have the tonic here, actually, instead of the burn salve. I'm pretty sure I'm going to give this a go, man. The landowner's manner. Do you hear the child's cries? They have been absolutely flying through the last Those few fights. Fly. What lurks in the beyond. We gotta make sure we're keeping our taunts up, though. That's very clearly an important part of our success here. Having said that, they did just give me a crit. I kind of want to just kill something. Yeah, that's fun. We'll do that. And then also kill this thing? Hey! The trivial worryment. I mean, that also feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. 
Oh, yeah, another combo in the back. Let's see, the coup de grace, still pretty good. Still insanely valuable. God, if only she could actually act first as she's attempting to. Well, hopefully we don't get punished immediately here, although it's looking fine. Oh, he's dead. See ya. I'm gonna munch him up. I can get a stress heal at the end of this. Hopefully a normal heal as well. Um, sure. Jesus Christ. Action. Moving on, I guess. That was quick. All right. Still need those Hellion taunts. That'll be our days. Right, right, okay. Uh, probably an encore so we can taunt immediately into a howling end here. And take out the doggo. You know? What do you know about the doggo? Let's heal. There we go, Sodden Sweater with an additional little bit. He's got his corpulence. Let's see here. Yet again, dude. Freaking enormous coup de grace value. Coup de grace, coup de grace. I, I keep forgetting. Uh, boom. Let's see, no combo to speak of here. Mimic Rod. Not the worst. Only the 15% chance for the weakened token. Get a blind there too. Nice. Let's go for the bigger heal there. All right. Getting a little bit better results. Stress is getting kind of out of hand again. Let's see. I need to apply some combo here. Although this might actually be okay. Master stroke. The slugger stun too. Wow, she has been critting like crazy. All right, got the strength token from that as well. Nice. Stunned here. Just a little bit of regen. Rockus. Probably not super necessary. That's a nice chunk. And the combo too. Another level of blind? Sure. Holy cow, the Jester's damage has been out of control, dude. Um, I suppose that's all right. Another strength token from that, too. Nice miss. Vulnerable from the Jinx? Holy shit. All right, you're done. Goodbye. The work continues. Got an iron swan here, probably into a uh a brilliant conclusion. 46 damage iron swan. How's that even possible? How does that even happen? What the hell? Well done. That's absurd. Can't get the dodge plus there to get a little bit of stress healing on him, thankfully. That'll do it. Coup de grace, All death blow. Have their solutions. Even the big ones. Let's do it, man. Let's have some fun. Ghastly gruels ain't bad. Or ghastly gruel ain't bad either. Born to a corpulent, half-eaten mother, the child is a ravenous avatar of degeneracy. Instant hunger for the Hellion. That's been our expected outcome, unfortunately, for this fight lately. Nice dodge, at least. Okay, we can fade to black that right away, too. I think it's chaotic time, yeah. Stunned himself. Oh, no. That sucks. A breakthrough. All right, got the blind, got the combo. That's pretty great. Let's see here. Disengage. That's going to apply the combo. Thunderclap. 
Pretty decent opportunity for that here. And then coup de grace again. Oh, the boot was the play there, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, the boot would have been applying the combo again. That's right. Yeah, I feel like I could start with this. Hey, Cuddly. Agony by accumulation. And then the seems to bet. Nice resistance. Got the blind that time. Double hunger again. Let's toe to toe here, I think. Yeah, it seems best. Okay. Fade into black again. We got the combo for the finale that time, but oh, it's going to be way better now. That's good stuff. Well, it's going to be a little harder, I guess, to get him into that position now, isn't it? No boot still. I think we disengage. Oh, it's still just going to apply the combo. It still might be coup de gras time. A master stroke. That is extremely good still in that position. It allows for a really nice howling end as well, assuming no hunger. God damn it. All right, that's still pretty great. Wow. 67 damage burning stars. That's pretty great. Now I can howl again. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, my goodness. Those are some big numbers. Is there even a non burning star? Eh, fair point, huh? Oh my god, she's about to execute this sucker, isn't she? See ya. Oh boy. Made mince meat of the harvest child. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Let him cook, dude. Now that is just better, but true entropy has been fun. So I'm gonna keep that. I think we'll replace our sharpness charm with the ghastly gruel, which is really good for the occultist here. That'll do it. Cool. Moving on. Off to the hoarder. See if we can get some goodies. We've got like 60 relics or something now. 80. Let's go. 87 baubles, too. Heck of a run, man. I expected the balance run today, if I'm being honest. Balance in all things, including our attempts at Darkest Dungeon 2's DLC. He struggles to decide what is real, holding back fits of laughter and tears. That is outstanding. Oh man, this combined with this with the Shambler uh, trinket. Oh, that's a lot of fun. I kind of just want to do that. That would be a really fun combo for <laughs> the occultist. On nine stress, he would be dealing a bonus 140% damage. This is just better, is the thing, the Seeing Sphere. If we were to equip that combined with the Gruul, he would be in much better shape now. Because we're really not even using the Scalded Skull. I'm pretty sure that's the play. That just, the, the theory of that was a lot of fun. Um, Meditative Totem is worth it. Everything else we can probably pass on. There we go. Imagine the burning stars on that. I know, yeah, that just sounds so good. This is a great pairing of trinkets for him in this position, though. He is in great shape. Same with our Jester. Honestly, our entire set of trinkets here. This one's more, like, fun, but still pretty good when it works out. Okay. 
All right, yeah, we got a couple of diseases too. I forgot about that. Well, the head, the seat of our regrettable research. We do have a watchtower coming up. It's possible we're able to scout a hospital after that. Otherwise, we'll just have to get lucky. Well, I guess there really isn't an otherwise, is it? Yeah, it's going to be either scouted or not. More of the vintage, please. Although, actually, this could be an argument for the blood, especially given our general lack of endgame combat items. We're already doing pretty well in the relationships, too, right? Oh, yeah, no, we're doing great. I don't think we really even need the wine anymore. Let's get the blood. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. We have earned this, my friend. You are absolutely right. Off we go. Why can't we rob the hoarder like we can rob random people? Well, that is the thing that's missing from this that is present now in 90% of roguelikes. Is the ability to fight the shopkeeper. Which I would welcome. I think, though, it should be one of the quests similar to the Crusader quest, though, where you have to, like, complete this arbitrary sequence of events that turns him into this monstrous eldritch being. Karma abhors waste. Best to take all you can. Not a lot of great stuff here. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. No longer need to hold on to the garbage food, either. I don't think we're going to need to... Keep these guys. Don't need the tracker's map. Don't need the storage trunk. Don't need the shrine map. There we go. Good enough. Now we're taking on chapter five today, Slip. We venture blindly forth at the mercy of the road. You know, for the big boy. Dangers. Just they seemed right. Their larders forging themselves as the world began to crumble. We do have the carriage lamps equipped now here on Hesel Seashells. Just getting a little unlucky with it in this region, unfortunately. I hate having to cycle through inventory so often to decide what to get rid of. They did make that a lot better recently. It used to be worse. It used to be constant through the course of any given run. We'd be managing inventory. They improved it quite a bit. No hospital. Unfortunate. We do have a hundred relics still, so I feel like probably worth it to head for this hoarder. Oh, we could have done back-to-back -back hoarders, but this is a safe route. But it is also double oblivion. Shit. Well, that sucks. Although, to be honest, 1100 versus 1000 HP is really not even that big of a deal. It's kind of negligible on this boss, so whatever. Plus, we might l l resist the loathing, too. You never know. In fact, I feel like the odds are in our favor to do that. Given how many we've failed already, but I guess that's not how math works, is it? Or maybe it is. Who knows? Like we've said before, we know damn well the stream's not the place to do that. Math is weird. Yeah, it's all made up. Exactly. All right. The loathing howls. Well, let's see if I mathed correctly. Is math on my side today? Let us hope the madman's scrounging has borne fruit. Rarely is. Oh my God! The miracle! No way! Streamer luck is real. Can I get all the bear luck in chat, please. We did it collectively, all of us together. We believed hard enough, and it worked out. What do y'all got? Big pig? If only we didn't already have one, I'd be a lot more excited. A little late for a say gear, too, here, isn't it? Pick up the songbook, the knotted tug rope. I should get some endgame combat items, too, shouldn't I? Let's maybe get a smoke bomb or two. No, actually, let's get stimulants. That's nice for the endgame. I want to use those glimmers. Got another tonic or two here, don't we? Yeah, nice. Cool. Oh, right, yeah, I was going to get stimulants. 
There we go. And we're off. When deliberation is exhausted, trust your instincts. I'm pretty sure we don't need too many more mastery points, dude. Is your coat prepared for the upcoming obstruction? Let's take the easy road. Why not? One more wheel remains. Otherwise, we're doing just fine, dude. Oh, you had that. There we go. There's those weird gaming moments in Darkest Dungeon 2 when you're using the stagecoach, where it's like you gotta manage the inventory, the map, and move the stagecoach to try to hit the piles at the same time. Which I know I could just stop and do one at a time, but it's more fun to do it that way. Those strangely intense situations. Oh boy, yeah, we're getting a lot of food here. Okay, this is a situation I guess where I want to stop. There we go. Alright, wow, yeah, another safe route here. Let's go. Just enough torchlight. All set. Let's do our second exemplar fight of the day. human outline it must be destroyed i feel that my focus on the exemplar's partner has been tremendously valuable over the last couple of exemplar fights so i'm going to continue to do that as we are best uh, able to destroy these things with this party or with this kind of party composition anyway and that'll fucking do it okay great start unfortunate shuffle there but i suppose we could get into a finale situation here couldn't we yeah crit finale oh my god let's apply some combo dude give him the boot give him the boot for 10 damage in the combo hell yeah all right man just don't weaken! Oh, he took the crit! Oh, that's fucked up. And he gave him the giant blight. Oh, we gave him both the giant blight. Jeez, that's terrible. A brilliant conclusion. Oh, that's about one of the worst things he could have done here, dude. I don't think I have any anti-venom anymore either. Oh god. That sucks. Oh no. We're just going to have to heal. A little help impeccably timed. Which is going to give him dodge plus, which is pretty terrific. But kind of an issue. Still a nice big chunk there, at least. All right, we want to allow for the immobilize to clear for a round, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything besides this, so... That'll have to do, I guess. One more glimmer. Nearly at the full torchlight again. Holy cow. Another combo applied, which is pretty great, too. Yeah, that is precisely why we need to keep those taunts up. This could stun. It's probably worth trying. Especially while... Adjusting the position doesn't really matter. Oh, this could stun as well, right? Of course. Oh, no, and the combo with the boot. There we go. Okay. Give you another tonic. That's looking pretty nice. And the crit for 20 in the combo. Let's go, Jester. Continuing to crush it here, dude. Strength token on our Hellion from that as well. Stun is huge. We got our Howling End back. With 25. Fade to black. Get the blind, the weaken. I think we got this, dude. 
Give him a flick. See you later. Exemplar defeated. Easy. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Oh no! Oh no! Why do you gotta do this to me at the very end? It loves doing this in the very last fight, dude. The loathing best. It loves giving me temptation in the moment in which it is most tempting. God damn you, I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. <laughs> oh god. All right. Oh, here, let's def extreme content. Despite the fact that this is actually no, never mind. Yeah, the greater heart seeker has been such a huge difference maker for this run. I don't want to get rid of that. I do want to use these guys, but I'm pretty sure we've got the right trinkets sorted out now. I'm gonna die in the mountain. I mean, it does sort of feel like that now, but at least we're having fun, right? All right, see you later, guys. I'll have to do it. I might use this last glimmer, actually. I think I'm gonna toss the burn cells. There we go. Oh, wow. This will be interesting. What a finish here, huh? A few more mastery points. We might even be fully mastered by the time we finish this up. Oh, and a songbook for the end, too. Thank you. That's lovely to see. Rest now for a time. Erdgott Breacher! No way! Breacher and the Jinx! Unreal. All roads lead to the mountain, but only one leads beyond it. That is a next level combo. Oh my god. Will you press on into uncertainty? Or claim what you can. Get those wheels back. You sure you want to kill the character <laughs> with that trick? <laughs> I don't know, man, but boy, that is that is pretty nice. Okay, that was an unfortunate outcome. Let's see here. So we're going to give them all our best food, meaning I think it's steak and spud time. Nice and healthy across the board. Let's go with the Meditative Totem on Nahi, I think. That seems right. Unfortunate, okay. Nice stress heal from that. We'll give these two that one. You can have this. You probably need that there. That's fine. That's fine. Like this. Yeah, no, I still got the pig. I'm just trying Precious to relics remind us of a time before the end. Figure out the most effective way to use it here. I do still think this is worth it to buy the other one of those as well, but let me check on the first result here. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think it's actually worth. Okay, we'll go Jester Hellion with the boxing glove. God damn, that sucks. How are they doing? They'll get the poetry and the pig will be enough to max them out. Can we go Hellion Jester with the whiskey, I wonder? I think so. We have wild tea here as well. There we go. And then, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll max out of affinity here. Let's do the pig first, just in case we get a plus two out of it. And then the poetry will give us the guaranteed max affinity for Hellion and Duelist. Also remove all their stress. Nice. Wow. Okay. Stun resist seems good. 
I don't know how often they're trying to stun at the end here, but I'll take it. And then I guess the ceremonial drum is really the only thing I'd like to get at this point. I guess I could get like a fire grenade or maybe another glimmer or two. Probably just the two is all we need. really need, though. Okay. What am I really going to use? Oh, yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea, huh? The invigorating intoxicant could actually be pretty good for the end game. There we go. Learn what can be taught, that you may stand just a little taller at the end. Encore. Inspiring tune. Chaotic. I suppose probably just raucous at that point, huh? Oh, an additional plus 5% crit chance on an aggressive stance, huh? That's a little more damage. Might be glad I had that. Rockus is not really going to matter too much, although the additional death door resist is pretty good. I think I'll take it for that. As far as our final items go, I think we're going to go with stimulants, the blood, invigorating intoxicant, and ethereal dust. We'll give the ethereal dust to the jester at the end, meaning we're free to use the spring water, the glimmers, the tonic, and the linens here. I might actually keep the tonic. But everything that we have equipped at the moment, well, besides the glimmers, I guess, we'll use those in the second fight, but we can use everything that we've got equipped now. Bear, there's a stagecoach item that has the 5% chance to get rid of disease. Each improvement, a new variable. I'm just in short. The equation of your fate. That would be a good idea, but yeah, we are six bobbles short of being able to afford it. All right. Oh, this would be good, though. If we pick up the steel plating, this will actually give us a 5% bonus to debuff resist. And obviously the loathing lanterns. Oh wait, we need to keep those two though. Meet each challenge on its own terms. Okay, cool. And now, oh my god, look at all this. So now we should be getting a 10% bonus to debuff resist from our pet. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right. The plating is patched. The coach stands ready once more. Can I see some bear rolls, y'all? Because I feel like we might need a little bit of bonus help today. It's been pretty good up to this point, but... I don't know, man. It's temptation. It's chapter five. You never know what could happen. Let's give it a go. Mm. Tried and tested. A bomb to be counted on. Howling N adds the strength to Jester. Terrific start. Aspiration unites the hope. Stress heals from slice off and flick. Okay. This artillery will add a dodge plus to the Hellion. Cool. Burning stars and razor's wit. The dodge plus and strength, respectively. An incredibly respectful squad. Weird reconstruction. Strength on the duelist. Barrel roll to victory. Let's do it. Chapter five, baby. At last, the great cigarette. Temple of failure and regret. I'm having a drink, she says. I love it. Can we get a fresh prediction going too, please, here for our chapter five finish. Let's do it. We get a little bit of presentation this time around. And the terrors of Chapter 5. Here, at the nexus of ruin, loathing poured forth from the darkest recesses of your mind. Your failures took form, 
and the world bowed in honor of your great wretchedness. Wait, there is a fight. The stain of your bankruptcy frayed the very fabric of our dimension. Isn't there? Prior but to the you mountain? Were afraid to face what you had wrought and fled down the long road of oh, your fun. memories. Hiding yourself away. Got some dazzlers. This is Act 5. Yeah, I can't remember if it just goes right into the fight or if it's... Uh, combat prior. There's lore sections before all of the battles. Okay, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, sounds good, Mordecai. Oh my goodness, our Breacher, I forgot, dude. Oh man, that's fun. Jinx Breacher, that is going to be incredibly beneficial. Nothing, huh? All right. Hey, the combo there, nice. 18 to 32, holy shit. That dude is hurting. The extra action from Temptation. Oh my god. She is going to be a beast. Ow, oh, hey. Hit her, but not for much. Blinded in combo there, and then how about a kill from you? With the flash, yeah, there we go. A righteous action. Wow, that is uh, a pretty tremendous start for us. Dazed him there, not too bad. Did use the crit, sadly. It seems kind of wasteful, but whatever. Can we encore a daze somewhere? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'd rather just do this anyway. A breakthrough. Is that the melee debuff? So let's just not worry about trying to do a bunch of damage here, I guess. In fact, let's try to blind him, I think. Yeah, that'll be for the best. Oh, yeah, we're not defensive again, but we can stun. Possibly. Oh, no, no, no. This is going to play combo. God damn it. Let's weaken, I guess. Weak and invulnerable. Oh, yeah. That's not an issue. That's going to be an inspiring tune, in fact. Hooray! And bonus action. Holy shit. She is bonkers right now. I really hope we get a burning stars out of that, too. A wash in turmoil. Oh, why ain't you gotta be like that now, huh? I'd like to probably use a spring water on here, on her here soon. Uh, I don't have a stance here, so... I think it is still best if I do this. Let's set up a finale as well. Oh, there's the burning stars. A master stroke. There he goes. And do I get a chance to spring water? Do I even want it? Sure don't. The unrelenting oh application of violence yields morbid gains. That convinces me that execution is a part of the respectful trigger, which is pretty fucking great. That makes me very happy. We'll just go ahead and use the glimmers here. All right, so I'm pretty sure we have another fight. Reality yeah. comes asunder before our eyes. So we gotta use the glimmers in this one so we get our torchlight back to, up to as close to 100 as we can get. Not even ordained. Boy, that is gonna be tough for you lot. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No combo there either, unfortunately. By accumulation. That's tempting, dude. Very tempting to go immediately in on him, but let's get the taunt here. Oh yeah, we can Iron Swan too. Missed. Blinded. Excellent. Speaking of which. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing. Who to ground the back? That feels kind of wasteful. I guess I can play a combo here. Oh, the slugger stun. Let's go. 
measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. No whiff that time. Okay, we did get the blind there too, sadly, but... Ow, oh, no pull forward either, damn. Eh, I don't know about that, actually. I guess I have linens here. I might as well use them. Double blind again? Yeah. It's pretty damn good. Oh, Iron Swan time too, right? Again, this is very tempting. Let's apply a strength token as well. Yeah, why not? There you go. Hot diggity damn. No, I don't think I'm going to let you crit, actually. You're going to go ahead and die for me. Thank you. Crit from the nautical compass. Strength from the boxing gloves. Are you kidding me? I think I'm about to try to one-shot this boy. Missed his attack as well. Blinded from the jinx. Let's clear that dodge plus. A miscalculation, perhaps. Oh, give me the goods. Big dammy, no whammies. That's right. 55! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Large. That's another pretty big number right there. I think a flick will do it. Where's my flick at? Oh, wait. he's She's Cosmic Slayer still, isn't she? Give him the boot! Oh, yeah! Oh, boy. <laughs> I think Bear's having fun. I think so, too. I think I'm having a pretty good time today. Das boot! Goodbye. We're off, dude. That's it. Clothing free, stagecoach in perfect shape. Get ourselves the invigorating intoxicants. Four stacks of the blood. Welcome back. I want a little mineral rich spring water. No, I think I'd actually rather have the ethereal dust. I think that'll be a worthwhile addition. Guppy! Thank you very much, Guppy, for the 45 months. Get him some bear hugs, please, as we dump the rest of our garbage on the side of the road. That is it, dude. Don't need any more of that shit. Goodbye. Let's go. One last skill check, but I'm pretty sure we're good. Oh yeah, we're sorted. I remember our first meeting on the steps of the university. You were golden, lit from within by the glow of potential. Finally, my friend, I would see that potential realized. It is time to reclaim the world from your weakness. Meet your derelictions with blazing defiance. The equation must be balanced. No, not more math. My only weakness. Oh, well. Boy, I love this entrance, dude. Your body of work. Gaze now upon your great achievement. The sum total of your failings. Your body of work. Chills. So good. Time to fight the dicks. The curious gut of the coward. Right with toxic pusillanimity. Boy, these guys are real dickheads, huh? Yuck, 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 yuck. Here we go. Oh, yes, the blight. The blight, the blight, the blight. That's going to be... Pain in the butt. Okay, okay. Can hold the blood for now, I think. The blinds are going to be pretty good. If they land, that is. Nice crit there, though. What is it, then? Gazes back so intently from the abyss. Very glad to have upgraded Adrenaline Rush, at least. Let's see here. Got our combo already, of course. I... I had a better way to 
reliably get to defensive stance. This is still good. Even a double weaken on this guy is pretty worthwhile. Oh my god, whetstone burning stars crit. Holy cow. Well done. That's a fine way to start. Get a dodge plus there too. Hell yeah. Disengage is not good here. I think I should probably like flash or flick. Yeah, we can get our aggressive back. That's fine, I guess. I would love to turn this into a finale. I don't know if I'm going to really be able to do it, though. Excellent work. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Boy, that is uh, maybe going to be a revelry sooner than I'd like to. And that would allow for the toe-to-toe -to, -toe to clear two stacks of winded as well, so... Probably worth it here. Extra action as well. Fantastic. Still got our taunt. Still immobilized. Looking pretty good. And she is... Tanky Lass. Cured the Blight. Replaced it with Horror. That is fine with me. be blighting more on turn end here. I guess we just keep doing toe to toe. Bit of a waste of vulnerability, but everything else is still going pretty good. Nice big chunk there too, okay. Get another big burning stars. Yeah, we'll probably get a blind coming up here too. That was not too bad. Vulnerable off of that as well, oh my god. The crit breaks through. We're on to phase two. Its infernal gaze pierces the veil of reality. Hell yeah, man. Now, let's see. Look at the combo with the boot. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Unsurprisingly immune to move. All right, we know that's going to be some big damage, but I'm kind of tempted just to keep popping the burning stars here. Trammeled, trapped, oh, hey now, here. that is not cool. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's something he does. Yikes. That one's going to hurt. All right, she's at least in Adrenaline Rush territory. We can give somebody the blood here. I don't know how helpful that's going to be, though. I think we Encore a heal, actually. It feels like this probably for the best. Going to help her out a little bit. Oh, I could have done an Ethereal Dust to clear the Encore immediately there, too. That's something I should consider. Boot for the combo. No, that's... I already got a combo applied. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Oh, I'm not in the right stance for it, though. Shit. Hmm. No, I don't think disengage is the play here, either. I think it's just another coup de grace attempt. As unhelpful as that it may be here. It does cure the blight for that, which is pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and do this now. Possibly allow for another encore. The slow suffering begins. A little burn there, not too bad. The mobilized duelist is kind of odd. Jinx blind through the dodge there as well. That's pretty good. Now I can disengage. Hey, good stuff. Okay. Do I Encore again? I think I'm pretty happy to do that. Stupendous. Clearly the right idea to keep the greater heart seeker here. Thank God for the resist on the stun there. Oh boy. Powerful, unavoidable blow. Fellowship forged through toil. Massive heal, though. Wow! Apparently the blind can still make it avoidable. That's pretty sick. 
Speaking of which, keep doing that. Oh my god. Enormous value. Okay. I don't think that's worth it. Let's just keep doing toe to toe. Oh yeah, it is still there, isn't it? Alright, apparently that's not been taken care of yet. Okay. It can be stunned. Oh shit. Blinded too though, but stun is maybe better. No luck, okay. Oh, he's taking the fucking tokens. God damn it. God damn it, dude. That's gonna hurt. Steady yourself. No, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, actually. Okay. We need to avoid the meltdown here. She's still doing pretty well. Can even do a revelry, actually. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Okay. I am tempted to give her one of these just in case. I think it's a good, it's a good idea. I think I should listen to that instinct. Oh, this ignores dodge on defense. Nice. That was a good instinct, Bear. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Very good to listen to. Oh, he's gonna get the first action and kill her, isn't he? Oh, thank God. That was lucky. Wow. No taunt there either. Okay. That's pretty huge. Another big heal. Okay. That's good, actually. That allows her to adrenaline rush again, I think. Oh, it's on cooldown. Fuck. And she's not healing anymore? She is healing. Okay. I think that's still the play. We might have to heal her again. Let's just give her the other one. Fuck it. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Now is the time for that. Now's also the time to get a crit stun off the boot. Let's go. That's pretty huge. Heal again? Yes. Not awesome, but it's helpful. I think now is stimulants time as well. And we really hope we get the bonus action too. Oh, that's huge. Very good. Oh, wow. Okay. Keep blinding. I'm trying to, anyway. Which we can do with a disengage. That's big. Oh, boy. Hell yeah, dude. The Jinx combo, too. I think we keep the taunts up, but I am tempted to Iron Swan. No, taunt. Okay, well. Why not both? Could we maybe have the damage here? I think it's possible. Got a taunt on him, and it doesn't really matter. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Get lucky. Oh, shit. Bear optimal. Oh, my goodness. Coup de gras. This? No, coup de gras. Finish him! Behold the hateful god Let's go. Your failures made flesh. Oh, baby. All right. Honestly, I wasn't really planning on doing a melee skill with her anyway, so that works out pretty well. Oh, this, might, this is probably a revelry situation, isn't it? Yeah. All right. 
Ooh, the bonus action, too. That's pretty damn good to me, dude. Although, uh, actually, keep her in the keep her in the front. There's a few that can actually target the back as well. So, oh no. Okay, we can fix this, thankfully, but that's pretty awful. This might be a chaotic offering turn. No, I should heal. That's why we wanted to keep that adrenaline rush. Hey, I'll take it. Threw the block on that too, nice. I like this. And get through one at least. Still got a blind here too, which is pretty solid. Can't hit the back rank, so. There's 13 for you, buddy. Just poking at him. Can't even tell in the damage bar. This seems good still. Still can do an adrenaline rush there. Nice miss. Okay. Love that. Get our taunts back. Unfortunate. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, big... Big use case for Adrenaline Rush now. Oh, uh, let's see here. Encore Demon's Pull. Can he move? He can. He can be brought to the front. So I would love to stop our uh, Hellion from having any limitations here. What the heck? Okay. There she goes. Alright, I may not actually be able to This is no time to pull Adrenaline Rush what, right away here, after all. I think it is finally chaotic offering time. That's not too bad. Strengthen this. Huge. Emancipation is at hand. Huge. This illusion. That's the heal and the stress heal. Along with clearing her locks. That is pretty great. We are going to try to stun this boy. No luck that time. That's still okay. We are likely to melt down here, unfortunately, unless I can get like a lucky revelry off or something. Let's do this. Let's make this burning stars up coming really nice. Uh, I suppose. Oh, really? All right, fine. It's not that big of a deal, actually. Hopefully he can dodge here. Oh yeah, right, of course. He's not weak either, which is nice. Holy shit. <laughs> I kind of want to do 50 damage on the body of work here, but that has got to be best there. There's the dodge plus from that too, which is really, really good. Totally fine with her being brought to the front. Oh, wowie. What lurks in the beyond. Taunt and a combo on that boy now. Okay, very happy to have the adrenaline rush right there. Oh, cool. This kind of feels like maybe a waste of a finale now, actually. But no. We'll take it. All right, Occultist will be great next, although he does have the range lock, unfortunately. I suppose Duelist will be okay. Let's see. We need to find a way to apply some combo here. Although a stress heal actually wouldn't be a bad idea either. I'll take it, sure. Oh, that's not a stress heal. Never mind. I'm silly. 
Maybe it should be Jester, actually. He's dealing a ton of damage. Let's let him do it. Oh, right. Yeah, this guy. That's a lot of fun. She's going to be healing nicely here. We got to avoid a meltdown, though, so I guess we can revelry this real quick. Seems worth it. Not too much DOT there to worry about. Big heal here, hopefully. Not fantastic. Get a strength token, though. Weaken? Nope. Okay. Jinx combo, too. Nice dodge. He can actually blood himself here. That would be pretty good. Um, we have the combo chance now. No stun, okay. Blood crit razor's wit. I like it. It's the combo there too. We can likely fade to black to begin the next round here. Seven to thirteen, pretty likely. Could also use one more blood to near guarantee it, or to guarantee it effectively, right? Yeah. Works for me. Spiritual torment has no place in the compassion. You had another excellent use of the exaltation there. All right. Do some extra damage to the big boy. Combo with the 32. Blinding him as well. Let's go. Still immobilized here. You get toe to toe into the Howling End, though. And coup de gras for a little bit of stun again, maybe. Not that time. Okay. There's his boys back. I think I could go for the Iron Swan now. Let's see. Smiring Tune's actually pretty tempting. Yeah, I think I'll do that. The body can be stunned. Yeah, it's just got pretty high stun resistance at 60. It's worth a shot, though. Although the blinds are clearly a pretty big impact, too. Ooh, this is pretty nice. Dodge plus again. Beautiful. I do think... Oh, my goodness. Hellion. Overachieving for us here, dude. Phenomenal work. Disengage. Got the taunt there, sadly. Got a 40% crit chance. Holy shit, stress heals as well. Yet another dodge. Wow, outstanding luck with a blind to boot. And the toe to toe. <laughs> Holy shit. Go, Hellion. Disengage. A couple more blinds. Not that time. Okay. We'll go chaotic here. Ooh, he's stealth. That's pretty convenient. Oh, he's got the range lock again, though. God damn it. Ah, uh, sure. Give him the strength. Why not? So I suppose it should be the duelist here. Man, that's such a cool feature, dude. The matchup against their worst fears. Not a great heal there, sadly. We're going to go ahead and keep the attention of the big boy. Do kind of want to get another fade to black going, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I could Razor's Wit here. He's already got a combo, but yeah. A lot more blind. More blind chances are always good. He's got a buff to damage now. I'm going to have to be pretty concerned about that, actually. I'm not certain I'm going to be able to 
perfectly handle this. Coup de Gras cannot hit the front. Oof. Hmm. No combo. He's going to be able to hit the back rank, no problem, right? Yeah. The crit, I suppose? I don't know, man. I feel like I am all of a sudden in not great shape. Feeling like the duelist choice might have been problematic. That's pretty big. That's a huge heal. The sodden sweater trigger as well. Thank you very much for that. Big time dodge, too. He just keeps getting stronger, though. Let's encore the duelist. Oh, no. She... Oh, fuck me. That was dumb. Oh, no. It's getting stronger and stronger. God damn it. She can't... Melee because of this. That's what it was. I didn't realize. Crap. I don't want to lose my stances, dude. Name 23. Thank you for the 53 months. Welcome back in. Appreciate the support. For the range lock now, at least. But that was obviously not ideal. He can't heal. Oh, boy. Better keep our taunts up. Oh, man. This is close to revelry territory. Cholera really is fucking us, yeah. These dazes have been absolutely brutal for her. God damn it. I need to do ethereal dust for the encore, dude. Bravo. That helps a lot. That's a pretty clutch crit right there. Okay. We are absolutely going to need another heal here. Keep our taunts up, of course. This is revelry time. Clear the cooldown on Encore. I'm not even sure if that was necessary, but let's find out, I guess. Oh, no. Well, it's something at least. All right, come on now. Let's see a big damage hit, Duelist. Flash is probably your best bet. 8 to 11 with the 40%. This will work. And this adds a dodge. There we go. The past is gone. This thing is... Really an echo. There we go. She's done it. Hell, let's try the boot stun too. Why not? There's a little extra how do you do, huh? That ain't bad. Stun to start as well. Fantastic. And that's a raucous for sure. Okay. My goodness. Gets herself a little... Toe to toe on top of that. Reset that. Okay, good stuff. Perfect heal, my friend. Look at you go. Clutching it up just like your partner right there. A few dodges for the squad. Okay. Taunt up front as well. Got to get through that dodge. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> That's fun. Um, this feels wasteful. Let's wait till we can guarantee that's gonna hit, I think. Sadly, no more adrenaline rush, so... This could be a bit of an issue up front here. Combo up front now, though. Okay. That looks right. Coltis has got to get a big heal off. God damn. 
No bleeds though, but still. Oh, apparently those tokens just disappeared too. That sucks. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. That's a nice little flesh there. Uh, let's see here. Five to seven, three to five, four to five with a crit chance. Bear optimal on the boy. That's gonna give us a token up front at least. Miss it. Nope. Oh, that's gonna yoink those and turn them into blinds. Okay. Last one. It's the occultist's turn. There's a little more revelry. I have Encore here, actually. Yeah, let's do this. Allow him to uh, set himself up pretty well. Well, actually, here, let's do this while he can still heal, I guess. Because he is going to need the HP. <laughs> oh, God, that's right. That's right. It's a shambler. Agony by accumulation. Just a regular old shambler there. Nothing crazy. Hey, nice stun again though, okay. I think I'm gonna rely on Warlock to give us the power here. As risky as that might be. Ah, that's a terrible idea actually, I should not do that. You know what I should do instead is just kill the boss. And then we don't have to worry about this. Oh, the blind, damn. Oh, dodge there too, at least. Warlock! Oh, the ranged block, god damn it. That's probably worth still. The slow suffering begins. Still worth it, then we can chaotic offering next turn, likely. No luck on the dodge, though, dude. Jeez. Encore not quite there. I can get another blind here. Or miss my blind again. And get some stress out of it. And a crit. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Okay, sheesh. Pretty rude, guys. Hmm. I don't necessarily want to disengage here, I don't think. Give me the damage. Blinded and weakened again. He ain't hitting that shit. Vulnerable off the Jinx there, nice. I've got to do Chaotic Offering. Oh, Stealth does not matter though, I think. Unless he just passes, but no. He don't give no shits about Stealth. And this is really bad, I need to heal again. Unless my Burning Stars can somehow get the damage. It can! Let's go! He's done it! GG! Destroy the Beautiful. Destroy yourself, but the world will spring anew from the memory you kept of it. Now we get to see the ending cutscene post DLC. Hell yeah! Your confession is complete. The cosmic axes are aligned once more. Forgive yourself. Humanity is a weak hypothesis, after all. An unbalanced equation. An imperfect angle. We sow the seeds of our ruin and seek to deny its reckoning. We make mountains of our mistakes. Monsters of our misdeeds. We slip and stumble. We fail and we falter. And yet, in each of us, a hopeful light. Holding fast against the hellish shadows that gather between our good intentions. And in each of us, a limitless emptiness. Of a darkest dungeon. Cool. Yeah, same ending. That's fine, though. Kind of what I expected. At last, the veil begins to lift. 
All right, well, definitely call that a successful duelist run, huh? Good stuff. Let's grab some memories right before the end of this one. Thanks for watching the VOD over on YouTube.com slash Bear Taffy. Assuming, assuming I was able to salvage this despite the uh, hiccup earlier. Push ahead beyond the reach of this tenebrous malignity. Please leave a like on the video as well if you're watching over there. Really appreciate that support. Memory is the heart that warms the mind. What do you got here, Hellion? Additional crit chance? Seems pretty good. Speed on our jester, I like quite a bit. When all is lost, we cling to what we can remember. Favorite toy. So much better on other characters. Definitely don't want it on him, because that would just make him deal more damage to himself. Let's give you some HP, I guess. A fleeting impression. A flickering light. Do a hot bath for the additional stress resist on the duelist. That'll do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. The road calls once more to its dark passenger.